welcome to my cold winter office. Anyhow, how to stack track shots from the Move Shoot Move Star Tracker in Sequitor. Okay, right, so what we do is first we drop in all the exposures. I keep these in Lightroom and they've already been exported, but it's basically seven two minute exposures of the sky using the move, shoot, move. Excuse my beeping phone there for a minute. Right, so we've got our seven images here and what it does is it'll pick a middle one as sort of like a middle reference on what to align to. So the main aim here is to get all the detail of the sky. Once it's done, the boat will look very blurred, but the idea is to use the sky image to uh, paste as a layer on a, another foreground image and then merge them together using the paintbrush and masking. So we click Composition, Align Stars, Accumulation, and what we want to do is freeze ground, so we only want it to take care of the stars, and this selective box here what that does is it removes any aircrafts or meteors in the uh, picture. So if you've got like a dotted line passing through the sky, it will remove it for you. So uh, we'll just set the output file. We'll just call this one test new, save. Right, hit start. Yes. Close that. Now, as you see here, you've got all the images stacked together. There was a dotted, uh, well, there's more like a white line up here before, and that's gone. And all the stars look sharp, but the boat obviously looks quite atrocious. So, um, all we would do now is we'd take this image into Photoshop with another image of just the, the boat in focus, and then we'd blend them together using masking. What I'll do is I've actually already made a video on that technique, so I'll link that in the uh, the, the uh, description. And uh, once you watch this, you can go and watch that one, and then you should have everything you need to make a tidy photo. So enjoy.